guys, my name is Brandon Short. You may know me from such teams as the Ironmen uh, with Die Precision. We're out here in beautiful San Diego, California. Today, my goal is to answer a few of your questions and uh, let you know a little bit more about myself, the Ironmen, Die, and paintball in general. So uh, let's do this. All right, first question is from uh, Josh Wolf out of Oakland, California. Josh asked me, Brandon, who is your favorite paintball player? Uh, when I was growing up, I'd have to say Shane Pistana. Uh, you may not know or remember Shane, but he's an older school paintball player. Uh, just a monster, monster paintball player, smart guy, and just a really cool guy. And uh, he was actually my coach for a while, and uh, we won a few championships. And so back in the day, Shaner was my favorite player. My next question is from Dan Johnson out of Tampa, Florida. Uh, Dan asked me about what are some drills to improve on your game of paintball? Break down the sport of paintball. Uh, for example, if you want to learn how to shoot better off the break, spend, spend a few hours a day, if possible, uh, practice shooting off the break, left-handed, right-handed, uh, practice shooting in different locations. So what you want to do, just like in any other sport, is break it down. Break down shooting off the break, break down running and gunning, just figure it out from A to Z, as I like to say. The next question is from Nick Mackerson. Nick asked me, uh, basically, how are the Ironman and myself dealing with the changes from the PSP? The new PSP rules are kind of cool. Uh, my favorite thing is there's no coaching on the Dorito side, which is huge. It allows for players to be, to be a little bit more sneaky and to really actually play the game of paintball how it's supposed to be played, but in this new age. So you have all the fast action that you get with X-Ball, but you get that sneaky seven man ninja type stuff. The other changes are they don't release the field until the week of, which is really cool because uh, in the past, the Russian Legion and other teams like that would just grind and grind and grind on these fields and really just know everything about them. And for other teams that didn't have these opportunities or have those opportunities, they weren't allowed to do that. So basically it evens the field a little bit more and it makes it more exciting. You know, everyone shows up and you kind of go, got to go old school. You got to learn how to walk the field properly. You got to rely on your team more about communicating. So the new PSP rules I really think uh, are cool. Not only cool, I think they really help our team, the Ironmen. Next question is from Greg. He's asking me, who's Skinny Kevin? Well, Skinny Kevin, if you didn't know and you should know, uh, former player of Dynasty back in the 10-man days. Um, great guy, awesome guy and most importantly, smart guy. He is our new coach. Uh, we used to have Shane Pistona, and Shaner was awesome. And he left, and when Shane left, we had a void. And to fill that void, we brought in Skinny Kevin. Skinny is smart. Uh, he's not gonna sit there and yell at you and tell you what you did wrong and did, uh, did right. He's really just gonna point things out, point you in the right direction, and basically give you the encouragement and a little bit of knowledge to guide you to win these paintball tournaments. Uh, Skinny has pretty much won, traveled, done everything there is in paintball. He's basically conquering the world and hopefully a little bit of his, of his knowledge rubs off on me and more importantly, our little guys like Kyle Spicker because he needs help a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from John Gregg. John asked me if I could play any other sport, what sport would it be? Well, I love all sports. I love football, basketball, baseball. I uh, especially love watching basketball, but if I had to choose, I think I would choose tennis because overall it's a, uh, it's a great sport. It's a one-on-one -on -one sport typically, and it really gets to show off your, uh, your skills as an individual. And I just like the whole aspect of it all. It's very classy. They have tournaments all over the world. There's a ranking system. I mean, how cool would it be if you could say that you were the number one or number two paintball player in the world? Well, there's tennis players out there that can say they're in the top 10. So, Greg, that's something I really like. And uh, so tennis, tennis is my answer. Plus, I can beat the snot out of pretty much any other paintball player, especially Scott Kemp in tennis. This one is from Alex Gray. Alex asked me, uh, what's my favorite country that I've ever got to travel because of paintball? Uh, well, Alex, let's see, I've been to a few countries and um, hard to say, I think, to tell you the truth, my favorite country in the world is South Africa. Um, of course, I haven't been to every single one, but South Africa is an awesome place. It's, it's one of these things where when you're there, you feel like you're actually in a different part of the world. You really get that idea that you are uh, kind of lost, you know, and it's just a really cool experience. I got to learn a lot, see a lot, 
and just get cultural, you know, learn about a cultural culture that basically is so different from my own. And um, not to mention it's beautiful. There's Cape Town, that's awesome. Johannesburg, um, yeah. South Africa was a real eye, eye opener and I uh, really enjoyed it. So uh, Alex, I hope that answers your question, South Africa. Well, everybody, thank you for all the questions. Hopefully I answer them. And uh, if you have any more, please um, visit diveprecision.com. Find myself on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, I'll be more than happy and we'll be more than happy to answer them. Hopefully we see you at a paintball field real soon. Side enough, Brandon Short. Thank you guys. And Nick asked me, dude, I just got shit on by a bird. <laughs> you really? Dude, I just got. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, please tell me you got that I'm on done. Please tell me you got that on camera. I'm done. That was a Russian Legion bird up there, got me. <laughs> a bird just came straight from Russia.